Do you love the luxury look but hate the luxury price? If the answer is yes, which it should be, you are in the right place. My name is Kiva Brett and I'm all about achieving the luxe look for less and that's what today's video is on. I'm going to give you six cheap ways to make your home look luxurious. This is the video that you have been waiting for and I'm saving the cheapest, easiest tip for very last. So let's get into today's video. The first very affordable way to make your home look expensive is to paint designs on your wall. So everyone loves wallpaper, right? We look at luxury homes, we always see wallpaper. Whether the design style is eclectic, bohemian, contemporary, wallpaper is in every design but wallpaper can be very very expensive even peel and stick wallpaper can sometimes cost you sixty dollars per roll and you've never ever been able to do anything with just one roll i tell myself that i can but oftentimes i'm just lying so what are we gonna do? We are going to use some leftover paint because I know you have leftover paint and use that to create a design on our own walls. Now your name does not have to be Matisse for you to do this. So before you get discouraged, let's just say this, you can do something very simple. You don't have to come up with a brand new design. Go on your favorite wallpaper websites like York Wall Coverings, Graham and Brown, um, pretty much any wallpaper website and look for inspiration. I recommend looking at something in the abstract or contemporary categories because they have a lot of repeating patterns and patterns that are really, really easy to do freehand. And that's exactly what you want to do. Putting a design on your wall makes it look sophisticated because you're adding visual interest. And you guys have heard me say this over and over again, so I won't um, go on and on about it, but we always want to create visual interest because that is something that every luxury room has. And that is what separates a luxury from, you know, mediocre design. Not only does this get something up on that wall, but it eliminates your need for artwork. Artwork can be very expensive. And that's that's why it's not on today's list. So if you can't afford artwork, this is a really easy and almost free way to accomplish this. It might cost you a few dollars because you might have to bribe your kid or your husband or your wife to do some painting with you, but otherwise you should be good to go. The next way to make your home look expensive very cheaply is to re reinvigorate those old picture frames. So we all have old picture frames, you know, we have the picture frames that your grandma had and it took up an entire hallway and she had every moment you'd ever experienced in a picture, right? We have those picture frames left over or we have old picture frames from home goods or ikea or amazon and we aren't using them anymore because they're not in our color scheme or they're just not as sophisticated as we need them to be well you're in luck because what you need to do is invest in some rub and buff and use that to make all of your picture frames look gilded if you don't know what gilding is it is the look that you kind of see with the floor mirror that i have in my home it looks like you actually put gold on it right and gold is a color that is very popular and many design styles but you can get the the metal actual metallic look using paint instead of just having to have the old plastic picture frames this is something that luxury brands do all of the time and then they sell it to you for five hundred dollars well you can go pick up some rub and buff which should be under twenty dollars and do this to your own picture frames this is how you can instantly elevate any gallery wall you already have or any gallery wall you're trying to put together this is also a fantastic way to create cohesion because if all of the picture frames are the same color, you can have differences in the artwork and they will all still work together. So this is something that I absolutely love to do. If you don't think you can do it, you think it's too hard, I'm gonna link a video that I did right here where I took a mirror from Home Goods and I actually gilded it myself using paint. So is that a piece of artwork? No, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. It's just a few coats of paint and it can really, really upgrade any piece of artwork. You can do this with plastic frames, with metal frames, with wooden frames. You can paint on all of these different substances. You might need to use a primer, but otherwise you can do this for under $20 and your artwork is going to look so much more luxe and your pictures will too. Do you ever find a rug out and about that is perfect, but it's way too small for your space or just kind of a weird size? This happens to me too. Do you ever have an instance where you have an old rug that's been passed down in your family and it doesn't fit your design style, but you've always thought, hmm, that would look great up on the wall as a piece? Well, that's exactly what we are going to do. The next way to make your home look expensive cheaply is to use an old rug as a piece of artwork. 
I know you're probably saying, Kiva, how do I do that? Well, the first way you can do that is to actually take a piece of the rug or the entire rug and put it in a shadow box or frame. While this is a great idea, it can get very, very expensive. Shadow boxes are not cheap. The other way that you can use rugs as wall art is to hang them with curtain hardware. So you're probably like, Kiva, what? What are you saying? So what you would do is get some curtain hardware and use the clips that come with curtains to suspend your rug. So you'd install the curtain and the brackets on a normal wall and then you would suspend the rug. Then the rug becomes a kind of art piece in that way. You want to actually spread the clips as far apart on the curtain rod as you can so that you get a really nice taut piece of artwork as opposed to something that's kind of wavy like curtains. That is not something that we are going for. Now you don't just have to do this with rugs. You can also do this with old blankets and tapestries and pretty much anything that is fabric that you think would look good up on your wall. Now I know someone is worried about how we're going to keep this clean. Well, you only put it up there with clips. So what you're going to do on occasion is you're going to unclip it give it a good vacuum and put it, put it back up on the wall. Now, for someone saying that's dirty, that's dusty, well, how often do you really vacuum your rug? How often do you change those couch cushions? Probably not as often as you were about to type to me about. So for that reason, it is totally okay to do. And this is a great way to get a unique, sophisticated piece of art. Now, one of the main thing that separates a luxury home for a non-luxurious home is the clutter, right? Because everything in a luxurious home is very tactfully placed. And so we want to minimize as much clutter as possible. A main source of clutter in a lot of homes is the side table because we have two side tables, three side tables, four side tables because we need them for table lamps. We need them for eating, but mostly for eating, right? Because a lot of us eat in front of the TV. I'm guilty. I'm so guilty. I love eating in front of the television. I'm one of those people who I have to wait for the show to come on before I eat. I'll like wait for an hour. To <laughs> it's a bad habit, but we're all human, right? But these ugly dining trays and like little side tables, they take up so much space and they're not always the most sophisticated. I got my dining tray from Five Below like five years ago and I love it because it's only $5. I mean, what's better than that? But you're not giving the luxe look for less. You're giving the less look for less, right? Um, which is fine. So what we're actually going to do instead to get that elevated look is to actually add armrest covers. So if you've never seen an armrest cover before, it is basically a piece of wood or a piece of metal or a piece of something that goes over your armrest that actually turns your armrest into a table. So you can hold your phone, you can hold your cups, you can hold a plate. So you can eat and do everything you need to do on the side of your sofa. Now, if you're a messy person, this tip is not for you. You have to scotch guard your sofa first or you're gonna be banging on my front door saying, Kiva, you ruined all my furniture, right? So I don't want that. But if you have some type of performance fabric or you're not clumsy, your armrest can become your table. Not only is this a great way to declutter your home, but it's also a great way to actually add some decor to the sofa because a lot of them are metal or they come in really cool materials so that you can actually zhuzh up your sofa because a lot of us have really basic sofas. So I love seeing something gold or silver on the arm of a sofa. I think it looks so luxe and so novel and there's nothing better than that. So invest in that instead. You're going to save so much money on side tables and your sight line will be completely clear finally in your home. And it's something that you are going to love because it's gonna be less dusting and your house is going to look so very good. The next way to make your home look expensive on the cheap is to invest in color changing light bulbs. I know your first thought is Kiva, those are so expensive. Philips Hue light bulbs are so expensive. They are, but you don't just have to use Philips Hue light bulbs. They actually sell color changing light bulbs at Amazon, um, at Target, but the cheapest place they sell them is actually at five below. Now, if you don't need some type of fancy light bulb like a GU10, GU10 is what I call it because that's what I need and that's the way that I remember, unless you need something like that, you can get a standard E26 light bulb and they are $5.99 now at five below. I pro I'm, guys, they should change the name. But anyway, they're really affordable and they become blue, yellow, brown, white, all the colors of the rainbow, it becomes all of those colors. The reason why you need a color changing light bulb is because it can help set the mood and you can work to dim your lights. And dimming your lights is not something that's just valuable for your overhead lights. It also is really important for your task lamps, your table lamps, your um, overhead lamps, 
you need light that is able to be dimmed in every circumstance to set the mood. What if you're having a dinner party? What if you're having a romantic night in? What if you're having a rave, right? You need different lighting to accommodate all of those different things. So having a light bulb that can do all of the different variations of light is something that will really elevate your space. I know they kind of get a bad look because you kind of think about like the, the, the young like LED lights around the ceiling. You can do that. I honestly think that looks fine, but it doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to make all of your lamps blue, but maybe a really, really soft yellow that's dim for like a nice candlelight dinner. That is what we want. That is luxury. Just think about it. The last time you walked into Restoration Hardware, you couldn't see anything. And that is kind of the look you're going for within reason. The last way to make your home look expensive on the cheap is to do some cord management. I know it's something that is so simple, but will take you so far. Someone left me a comment on Instagram the other day and she said, hide that ugly cord and then your house will finally look nice. And you know what? She was right. Am I gonna do it? <laughs> Probably not, because they don't wanna drill through my wall. But cord management is such a valuable thing that instantly elevates any home. You can do cord management with something as affordable as a zip tie. They sell like a pack of 20 for a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree, but you can also buy particular cord management boxes and cord management clips, depending upon whatever your budget is. But cord management instantly elevates any space because you're hiding all that visual clutter. Your TV is therefore something floating on the wall, right? Your speakers are something that only emit sound and it's something that you never ever really look at. Your lights somehow emit light, but you're not tripping over cords. You don't have something messing up what you're looking at. We want any space we design to be a beautiful vignette, right? We never want to see the, the effort that went into it. We never want to see what's going on behind the scenes. So cord management actually makes that possible. So if you have a TV, you can drill a hole through the back of the wall and hide it. You can hide your cords in some type of box. You can hide your cords in a media console or a basket. Um, you can hide the, the cords of your lamps underneath your chairs or underneath your t um, sofas. There are so many ways to hide cords, but doing that will make any space look really really, really, really good because it looks perfectly curated and the emphasis is on the word perfect. If we can make a space look perfect in that regard, it looks almost, it looks showroom-like, right? It looks castle-like. It looks, it just looks luxe. There's no better way to put it. So start with cord management. No matter what your style is, no matter how much your furniture costs, because that really doesn't matter. If you do this today, you're going to see an instant change in how you perceive your home. And it might even motivate you to make some other changes. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. So those were six ways to make your home look expensive really, really, really affordably. So if that is something up your alley, be sure to let me know down in the comments which tips you are going to apply. What are some other ways you have achieved the Lux look for less? If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.